Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokkan Battle video. In this video, we are going to take on the Pepe Gals Extreme Super Battle Road stage. In this stage, uh, we've gone with a Universe 6 team. Uh, obviously, I recently did a video uh, kind of talking about the Universe 6 Sands, but this team is obviously quite powerful. Uh, it also has the added benefit of being under a 170% lead. Uh, you can do this team, uh, this stage, with the 120% lead Pepe Girls, uh, but the one problem you're going to run into is that they just don't do a lot of damage. So they have a great amount of utility, uh, they have a lot of attack lowering, a lot of ceiling, but the issues that they do have as a team uh, is basically that you're going to run into the issue of, of damage. You're just going to spend a lot of time uh, sealing units and attacking units and lowering attack and defense and sealing units and attacking units and lowering attack and defense and sealing units and attacking units and lowering attack and defense and healing and healing and healing. So what I've done is for my first attempt, this was my first attempt at the stage, I kind of just went with the Universe 6 team uh, it was going to get through the stage, no problem. Uh, the only real unit that's going to give us some issues is our physical Kefla, uh, the SS physical Kefla. She is not too great. She does okay damage, pretty solid damage, and her defense is it's pretty lackluster. Uh, she is a orbs unit, uh, so she can tend to struggle a little bit if she doesn't get orbs. Uh, but she's really just there to fill in the space. Uh, we are going to rely mainly on the rest of the team uh, and getting set rotations. Units like the Tech uh, Khalifla and the Strength Kale are going to be doing a lot of the defensive work. Uh, and then we're also going to run with the LR in the other rotation alongside the Kefla. Uh, while the Khalifla floats alongside the Keflas, uh, the physical and the other strength one. So, uh, in terms of this stage, uh, pretty much the main issues that you should worry out for uh, is obviously, as with any of the e e SVRs, you want to be careful uh, of the units that have top advantage against you. And just basically bear in mind that all these units hit pretty hard. Uh, they did overtune, not overtune, they did upgrade the Pepe Girls ESBR quite substantially compared to the SBR. Uh, if you look at some of the stages, like, uh, for example, uh, fusion and um, shadow dragons I don't think they upgraded those stages and made them as difficult or the scaling the jump in difficulty wasn't as big as for example in the Pepe Girls ESBR the SBR uh, can be done relatively simply uh, with quite a few relatively uh, minor units Moses e ESBR is actually quite tough and can take like I said, a very long time if you run it under 120% leads, just because the, the damage stats are, are quite low. Fortunately, uh, the other Pepe Girls units do have a lot of utility. Uh, we are using Team Thunder, uh, basically attack stats, attack stats, and uh, defense stats. Basically, stat stuffing machines. We are keeping the Goku alive, uh, in case you haven't noticed, so that the Kale and well, all of the pure sand buffs that a lot of our team get stay active. Uh, units like Khalifla, Kale, uh, the LR, Kale and Khalifla uh, all get a whole bunch of benefits whenever they are fighting pure sand. So we are just keeping Goku alive so that we can uh, kind of uh, capitalize on that additional uh, parts of their passive. Things like the LR Kale and Khalifla, uh, firing an extra super attack really helps. It helps build their evasion, builds their defense. Uh, you know, units like Khalifla, Tech Khalifla, fire an additional attack. Uh, not that it matters too much, but it helps her do more damage. Uh, similarly with Strength Kale, etc, uh, etc. Et Khalif Kefla doesn't uh, do anything, you know, spectacular when fighting pure sounds. But yeah, uh, it is one of those things. So yeah, uh, Kefla is going to do some really decent damage here. Uh, unfortunately, she hasn't transformed the full way, so we're not going to have super effective against all types. Uh, and then we do have her evasion, uh, which is very, very helpful. So yeah, very solid so far. Uh, the only thing we're lacking is a little bit of damage. Uh, 
uh, but you're gonna lack that across most Pepe Girls teams, uh, way more than this, uh, even. So yeah, you're just gonna have to kind of deal with it. Unfortunately, Physical Kale is not on the Pepe Girls team. Uh, she would help tremendously in terms of the damage uh, portion of it, uh, but she, for some reason, is too buff, I guess, to be on the Pepe Girls team. So it is just something we unfortunately have to deal with. Um, but other than that, uh, the team went perfectly fine. I didn't have any problems with it. Uh, the Universe 6 teams, obviously quite powerful, uh, just from their raw stats alone, plus being under 170% lead, it makes them very well suited to taking on the stage. Uh, so yeah, uh, overall I was quite impressed with how they performed. Uh, if I could replace a unit, I would replace obviously the physical Kefla. Um, but the, there is quite a lack of options beyond what I currently have. I probably do have the ideal Universe 6 uh, Pepe Gals members literally to put into every single slot here. Uh, so I can't complain too much. I actually don't think there is a better Pepe Gals Universe 6 team that you could run. Uh, unfortunately Vados also for some reason is not on Pepe Gals. So it is just something we're going to have to cope with, uh, because with Vardos there's also not a lot of support options uh, or ceiling options. Vardos would have been a great supplement over the uh, physical Kefla here, but it's okay. Uh, in this stage, we're going to keep Gohan alive. Uh, that's for hybrid sands uh, to trigger some of the buffs, uh, and then we're going to keep Vegeta alive as well for pure sands. Uh, we're going to target the Krillin. Uh, for no other reason than the fact that he's going to do a lot of damage to the Kefla uh, if he manages to hit them. So yeah, fortunately we do manage to get 6 orbs, so it is going to help defensively. Remember with the Keflas, if you get 6 orbs you do give them a high chance at evasion, uh, which obviously is super helpful. Uh, and you can see uh, quite clearly how much damage these stages do. Uh, even with damage reduction items, units that start at about 100k defense, like Kale and Khalifla are taking, yeah, 7,000 damage or so, which in the grand scheme of things is not a lot, but it just more shows just how hard some of these units are now hitting, comparably to their older uh, SBR, where, you know, things are not so rough and tough. But uh, overall, a very clean run with this team. Uh, I do think that it could be improved a lot more. Uh, I know Videl has come out on JP. She's obviously 170% Pepe Gals lead. Uh, so she will be a super duper lead for this team. Uh, and she will also just kind of improve the rest. You know, Launch, Oceanus, uh, Ribrian, those units uh, will have 170% lead. Uh, and they'll really perform quite nicely underneath her. Uh, so it's going to be uh, definitely a, a stage that gets more options as it goes along uh, and should solve its damage problem. But right now, if you can't run this team, you're probably going to have to run uh, something under double Ribriands. Uh, and that's doable, but it's just going to take you a while, like 30, 40 minutes a while. Uh, it's just making sure that you keep units sealed, uh, keeping their attack lowered, making sure you heal... Uh, it's quite a uh, strenuous uh, system. It, it can become quite uh, tedious, but you can get it done. Uh, and if you focus, you will probably get it done. But there we've got rid of Krillin. So we've got rid of the main numero uno threat. Uh, and we're going to start working on the Gohan. And we will leave Vegeta for last. Uh, because the only tech unit we have cannot be hit by Vegeta, uh, of course. And getting rid of Gohan will stop the threat against our physical Kefla. So, yeah, we definitely want to start working on Gohan as soon as possible. Although the LR should be able to take him out quite quickly and seamlessly. Once we take our Gohan, we will turn our attention to Vegeta. Uh, but overall, uh, this also didn't really pose too much of an issue. We only really run into issues when uh, maybe physical Kefla gets caught by an attack, or maybe when the strength Kefla uh, doesn't manage to get six orbs because that obviously does affect her uh, evasion. As you can see, 
uh, we're just taking a look there very impressive card uh, really offensively minded uh, starts off a tiny bit slow especially at 55 percent but can really build into a solid uh, offensive juggernaut with really good defense um, so yeah uh, very solid obviously the other kale and Khalifa, uh have managed to build up their defense uh, and their evasion remember they build up evasion for every attack as well uh, which does help them uh, really perform uh, like they are very good card uh, they are obviously a tiny bit older but they really still are quite impressive uh, even their super attack animation is, is really has aged or out it, it's really done uh, quite well as an attack animation um, I think for its time it was one of the better animations uh, and it, it, they're still a very solid card uh, and I'm very I still love using them uh, I love using this team simp for Kefla 100% I support my waifu forever and always but yeah uh, we're not having too many problems here obviously we're now dishing out some really good damage uh, against Vegeta uh, we will take a little bit of damage in return but fortunately the physical Kefla is not in too much danger here uh, in dealing with Vegeta uh, she does have adequate stats uh, and obviously enough orbs to kind of uh, survive the situation she will take a bit of damage it's very interesting to see how much damage she takes uh, considering she had top advantage um, it, it just shows that you know even with a couple orbs and even with top advantage she still will take a substantial amount of damage at a rainbow level in the stage so her defense really needs a little bit of a kick uh, or either she needs a higher evasion chance uh, or they just need to uh, up her defense per orb or something uh, just really help her out defensively because uh, she can lack a little bit but people who don't lack in defense is the almighty all powerful strength kale and tech Khalifa rotation uh, the impenetrable walls of universe 6 uh, absolute units cannot die uh, which is obviously quite helpful um, when you're in an ESBR to have units that literally cannot die. Uh, so yeah, very, very solid. So we're now moving on to the final stage. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, we will now face the three most notable villains in the Dragon Ball Z universe, uh, at least to females, that is. Master Roshi, uh, Oolong, and Young Yamcha, uh, the studliest of all Yamchas. Uh, but yes, we are going to have to take out these sweet villains. We're going to start with Yamcha. We don't have any pure sands here, so we're not going to trigger any of the additional attacks out of the passives. Uh, so we really are just going to try and focus down the Yamcha and the Oolong. Uh, and hopefully just leave ourselves with Master Roshi left uh, to whittle away at over time. Um, the reason why we're not going to focus... Too much on Master Roshi is yes, he's tech type, which makes him dangerous to the LR, uh, but he's not too dangerous overall. Uh, and we really just want to try and remove uh, the Yamcha and the Oolong as quickly as possible because we have numerous units with top advantage against them. So I'd like to accelerate how quickly we kill them uh, and then hopefully take out the rest of the team. Fortunately, we got our Dokkan attack in the third stage, which is always a very big help. Uh, so we will manage to fire that off, uh, which will obviously do quite substantial damage to the entire team uh, and then allow us uh, to kind of heal up a little bit next turn and obviously whittle away at, at the opposition. Uh, Kefla with a very solid 2.1 million as well. Uh, and so Oolong and Yamcha are already kind of in uh, the worst situations. I kind of wish in hindsight that we had attacked Oolong with that Khalifa. If she had got an additional, she might have killed him. But it's more than fine. Uh, obviously, remembering that Khalifa or that SS2 Khalifa does have effective against all types when she is in the same turn as a Kale, uh, which she will be in every single turn of this uh, team build we have here. But again, we have the impenetrable walls. Uh, they will be more than fine. Hopefully we can get some crits to take out Yamcha because Yamcha is the only real threat we have uh, here. He's obviously taking on the physical Kefla. 
So removing Yamcha will assist us uh, in mitigating a large portion of damage uh, and then just allow us to make things a bit easier. Unfortunately, we did not get a crit uh, or an additional attack with Kale, who seemingly does them for free. Uh, but that just shows how her additional attack challenge drops quite rapidly without a pure Saiyan enemy. Uh, but obviously, we're still quite well off. Uh, we just will take a bit of damage from the Yamcha on the physical Kefla. So that is something we're just going to have to be wary of and probably have to heal up with. Uh, unless physical Kefla can somehow get multiple super attacks at crit, uh, which she does have the ability uh, and misses out, but she gets her evasion. Uh, so overall, uh, not too bad. Evaded one attacks, took two for quite a substantial amount of damage, but uh, almost killed Yamcha. So by the bar, a pretty good turn from her uh, overall. Now uh, we should be able to take out Yamcha and Oolong with this rotation. Uh, and then that's going to leave us with the ability to focus in on the Master Roshi, uh, who's already taken quite a nice chunk of damage from the Dokkan attack that we got. So we're going to get our six orbs here, which will make our good girl Kefla uh, a little bit tankier with her evasion kicking in. Uh, then we will get the ultra attack with the LR. Uh, and then we should get the Kefla at the back to hopefully finish off Oolong. So overall, should do a decent uh, amount of damage here. Uh, realistically, um, I think, you know, yeah, I think realistically uh, this team did the SBR quite easily. Uh, we obviously played it quite safe with a lot of items a lot of times, uh, but we were never truly that low on health. Uh, and we've never really struggled. The stages, barring this last one, all have a pure sand, uh, which obviously allows us to get the full benefits of our passives. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, you know, our type advantage situation wasn't so bad. We had a couple strength heroes that could do some damage to physical Kefla, uh, but at a rainbow level, with Artem, she seemed to do her job perfectly fine. Uh, we got one or two good dodges, uh, to avoid some damage, but overall, the defensive might of running Kefla and the Alar Kale and Khalifla alongside the Strength Kale and the Tech Khalifla rotation uh, was just a bit too much uh, to handle for this stage. Uh, the fact, like I say, that we can't take damage uh, really helps us out. Um, the only time we notice it is on this last stage because we don't get as many additionals as we normally would. Uh, obviously making our defense uh, not spark as quickly. But even without the additional defense uh, or the additional attacks from their passes for pure sands, you can see that this team still does a very solid amount of work. Uh, this Khalifla here uh, hasn't stacked her attack that much, but her effective against all types uh, does help and her evasion obviously kicks in as well. We're now also going to get the final transformation for our girl Kefla. Uh, this gives her the evasion innately. Basically, she is going to be able to evade uh, automatically. Uh, so the only thing now is the orbs basically proc a additional super attack for her, which is more than fine. Uh, we're not going to get the active skill, unfortunately. But overall, we are going to do more than fine here. We do just need to be careful because now we're obviously out of items. Uh, so the LR here can take a fair amount of damage uh, if they catch a super attack, which they are going to. Uh, oh, never mind. Uh, we're going to get the evasion. So there we go. Uh, the evasion kicked in uh, a lot. Uh, and we uh, have evaded all forms of damage. And now we're going to get quite a, a good amount of damage. And obviously you'll notice the attack stat has dropped slightly. Uh, but she is super effective against all types, uh, which obviously means that her damage has technically gone up. Because even though the numbers dropped, she now can damage any type uh, at a 1.5 times modifier. So yeah, overall, really solid performance. But cool, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments how you have found the Pepe Girls ESBR. And let me know what other ESBR you're having any problems with. Uh, but until the next video, stay safe. Take care of yourselves, and until then, cheers and bye!